Everyone who has a childhood remembers playing Wii Sports on the Wii and being absolutely decimated by Matt. The Miis were a staple of the Wii Sports franchise, so why has Nintendo opted for these sports mates this time around? You may have noticed over the years that the company has slowly moved away from the Miis. It started when the Switch launched, and there was no Mii Maker app. Instead, now you have to go into settings to create and customise one, which I think is a bit weird. At the time it seemed understandable, as it would also seem weird if the only app on the home screen was the Mii Maker app when you first got your Switch. Nowadays, however, it's clear that they're thinking of moving on. It looked like Nintendo was going to use Miis more again with games like Mario Golf, the Miitopia port and Pikmin Bloom recently. But then Switch Sports, a new game and franchise that introduced them to the world, replaced them. Why? Let's start with Nintendo's objective with the game. Bring new and old fans of the IP back to the franchise on Switch. Some people wanted the game to be more like the original, but that's just not how you get new and old fans to buy it. A person who played Wii Sports on the Wii would think, well, I've played this before on the Wii, why would I buy it again? Just adding these new sports isn't enough, especially because at the moment it doesn't have all of the originals. That being said, the new and returning sports are really good. They play well, and the returning games feel really refined with great physics. Let us know down in the comments if you want us to make a video about the hits and misses of Switch Sports. Nintendo very well knew that just adding some new games wouldn't make this game feel new enough. Sure, it's also in HD and there's online now, but that's not particularly impressive. This is where the sports mates come in, they're designed to increase the freshness of the IP, almost making it seem like an entirely different game. Hang on a second, isn't that exactly what they wanted? With these new characters, it really helps make the game become more unique to the Switch. And you can tell they put a lot of effort into them with things like a unique design, customization like the Miis, along with special unlockables. Here's a question, will the sportsmates replace the Miis? I mean, the Miis are clearly losing their influence slowly. I highly doubt it. These guys are definitely just made for this game. The only way I see them returning is if maybe they make a Switch Sports Resort or something, which would be awesome by the way. Nintendo's definitely not done with the Miis yet. They know how much people love them, and that's why they included them in the game. While some of the older, more hardcore fans don't really care about the sports mates, they help new and future fans have some new mascot for the franchise, like Wii Sports owners had with the Miis. However, I don't believe these characters are anywhere near as impactful as the Miis, and that's not just me being biased, I promise. The Miis were an integral part of the Wii, appearing in multiple games. All in all, while the sportsmates do what they're designed to do, and they do it well, I can't really say much else. I'm just glad the Miis aren't quite gone yet. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for more.